Um, Why don't you go in there? You can make a cut. Did you make one before? No, we don't. All right, we'll just yeah. fake it. We could sort of fake it. You know, and then I'm coming up to you guys, and maybe give uh, give your uh, your future wife a little peck on the cheek, or you could give her a kiss. And then both of you look at me cheek to cheek. Nice. This is so. Cool. Yeah, that's good. 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 Yeah,
Oops. It'll be like yeah, it'll be winter. winter. Hi, Hi, how you doing? Does everybody look sleepy? Oh, okay. This is my new family in about an hour. Yes. <laughs> Looking forward to a Lucky guy. good brush. I'm sick of a video. That one's only wedding. Mm. Okay. <laughs> video. <laughs> <all been>. <laughs> I actually did have it. 
pay gas service right there, and nobody heard a thing. Oh, God. Why is no one sitting in the chair? I don't know. I get some people to sit in the front. It's going to look like nobody likes you. Can you say something about that? <laughs> no one wants to sit in the chairs. They're all afraid. <laughs> we should turn and face each other, I think, so people can see. Oh, now, is it okay if I turn this way? It's in my eyes, yeah. Okay. Can we all turn away? Do you mind if we ask people to wait for flash photography? Sure. Of course not. No, okay, no. Right. It's tough to read when you're I mean, I was rude enough to yeah. ask them to be exactly. seated. I, but they were, they were <laughs> afraid. Oh, come on. You guys got it memorized by now. the chairs were for. <laughs> Friends, welcome on this uh, celebration day. Um, you are welcome to use the chairs. There's still one or two left. Um, and we'd ask, Rabbi, Ma Rabbi Mason and I would ask that you refrain from flash photography so that we can actually read what we're supposed to read. Uh, there'll be plenty of time for pictures uh, following the service. Excuse me, could you ask me to like, stand a little bit closer to so um, me? Also, you know, we're not going to bite. So you <laughs> Closer. Yeah, come on, come on. closer. Because we're not going to scream either. It's not in fact. Yeah, it's not. Uh, oh, wait a minute. I don't know about being contagious. <laughs> no, I mean, so you can hear things, yeah? I'll tell you what, why don't you take one step back? Okay. Okay. We'll take half a step forward. Okay. We're going to sort of rise over here. Okay. I know. Rukha Baba Shem Adonai, Brainachem Mi Beit Adonai. Mi adir alakol mi baruch alakol mi gadol alakol yivaret echatan v'takala. O God, supremely blessed, supreme in might and glory, guide and bless this groom and this bride. Let the words of Scripture from Psalm 100 call us to worship. Know ye that the Lord is God, that He hath made us, and we, and not we ourselves. For we are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Enter into his gates with thanksgiving and into his courts with praise. Be thankful unto him and bless his name, for the Lord is good. His steadfast love endureth forever and his faithfulness to all the generations. Dearly beloved, we are gathered together on this happy occasion in the sight of Almighty God to join Larry Johns and Marilyn Simmons in marriage. Marriage is a sacred and joyous covenant, a way of life ordained of God from the beginning of creation. God has ordered the covenant of marriage that husband and wife may give to each other companionship, help, and comfort both in prosperity and in adversity. That God may hallow the expression of the natural affections. That human society may stand on firm foundations. Marriage is an institution which the state may regulate and our religious communities may sanction, but which can only become real in the lives of two people. This celebration is but the outward sign of an inward union of hearts, and as such, marriage is the most tender of all relationships. It is a divinely ordained covenant that is to be kept sacred through joy and adversity, let us pray that God's blessing may truly rest upon this man and this woman all the days of their life together. Into the sacred covenant Marilyn and Larry now desire to enter. Let us therefore pray for the blessing of God on their union now to be formed. The gracious God who brings us together in relationships of love, we pray that Marilyn and Larry will share the joys, the abiding peace, and rich rewards of marriage. May their love and understanding grow with the years. May they seek each other's needs and hopes and help each other become the person more pleasing to thee. We pray for them and for the realization of the hopes of all who love, and to this we say, Amen. Amen. It's my pleasure to introduce Larry, who will now read a favorite poem of Marilyn's, which she found in her grandmother's papers some 20 years ago. If I could have my wish today, I would live over all my younger years. I would come to you from my empty room without remembrances, nor hopes, nor fears. If I could have my way, all that I once called love I would forget. Those tawdry feelings of my thoughtless youth, 
tarnished with self, with waste, and with regret. If I, if I could fuse into the gold of my mature love, that which rang true in all my early dreams, I should not grudge the thoughts of love that were not thought of you. But had I come to you with the fresh bloom I cannot summon back, I might not know what old love can be, not having known all that young love can lack. Larry and Marilyn, I require and charge you both as you stand in the presence of Almighty God, before whom the secrets of all hearts are disclosed, that having duly considered this holy covenant you are about to make, you do now declare before God and your family and friends your pledge of faith each to the other. Be well assured that if these solemn vows be kept inviolate as God's word demands, and if steadfastly you endeavor to do the will of Almighty God, God will bless your marriage and will grant you fulfillment in it and will establish your home in peace. I share with you now a reading from 1 Corinthians. If I speak in the tongues of men and angels but have not love, I am a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. And if I have prophetic powers and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and if I have all faith so as to move mountains but have not love, I am nothing. If I give away all I have, and if I deliver my body to be burned, but have not love, I gain nothing. Love is patient and kind. Love is not jealous or boastful. It is not arrogant or rude. Love does not insist on its own way. It is not irritable or resentful. It does not rejoice at wrong, but rejoices in the right. Love bears all things believes all things, endures all things. Love never ends. As for prophecies, they will pass away. As for tongues, they will cease. As for knowledge, it will pass away. For our knowledge is imperfect and our prophecy is imperfect. But when the perfect comes, the imperfect will pass away. When I was a child, I spoke like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I gave up childish ways. For now we see in a mirror dimly, but then face to face. Now I know in part. Then I shall understand fully, even as I have been fully understood. So faith, hope, and love abide these three. But the greatest of these is love. Larry Merrill, I'm going to ask you to face each other. And as you continue <coughs> holding hands, I'm going to ask you to affirm your wedding vows. Do you, Larry Johns, take Marilyn Simmons to be your lawfully wedded wife, to have and to hold in the covenant of marriage, from this day forward, for better or for worse, for rich or for poor, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, forsaking all others, till death do you part, according to God's holy ordinance? I do. And now? Do you, Marilyn, take Larry Johns to be your lawfully wedded husband? to have and to hold in the covenant of marriage from this day forward for better, for worse, for richer, for poorer, in sickness and in health, to love and to cherish, forsaking all others, till death do you part, according to God's holy ordinance. I do. Baruch Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, shekhal barach lekvodo, Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Yotzer ha'adam. Baruch atah Adonai, Eloheinu melech haolam, Asher yotzer et ha'adam, Ve'etzlamo, Ve'etzelem t'vut avinato, Ve'ekin lo mimeno ben ye'adeya, Baruch atah Adonai, Yotzer ha'adam. Unto you, O God and Father, we lift up our souls in praise. As all creation reflects your glory, even so, Larry and Marilyn, fashioned in your image, reveal your majesty. Within their hearts, you did implant the ennobling impulses of love and devotion. You, source of all life, 
and of all joy, sanctify the covenant which Marilyn and Larry are cons consummating in your name. Bestow upon them your gifts of friendship, of love, and of peace. Make them rejoice in the sweetness of that union which is founded on purity, fidelity, and religious consecration. Be with them at this hour of their gladness, and bless their covenant with everlasting love. Amen. Boruch atadonai, elhenu melech ha'olam, borei peri ha'gafen. Praise be thou, O God, King of the universe, who has created the fruit of the vine. Wine is the symbol of joy, of the richness of life and the sweetness of love. Therefore, it is appropriate that on this happy occasion you toast life with this ancient symbol. As together you now drink from this cup, so may you, under God's guidance, in perfect union and devotion to each other, draw contentment, comfort, and happiness from the cup of life, and thereby may you find life's joys doubly gladdening, its bitterness sweetened, and all things hallowed by your true companionship and love. As you share the wine from this cup, you affirm your commitment to share in all of life's experiences together. He needs the first shot. Larry does. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> Thank you. The rings, please. Yeah. Uh, that's one. one. Oh, that's one. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, that's here. <laughs> the wedding ring is an outward and visible symbol of the inward and spiritual bond which joins two hearts in love. Without beginning or end and with no point of weakness, the circle is a reminder of the eternal quality of God and of unending strength. May the rings that you give and receive today be forever symbols of the unbroken circle of love you both share. May their meaning fill your hearts and bind your lives together by devotion and faithfulness to one another. Let us pray for God's blessing upon those who give and receive these rings. God of all creation, we seek a special blessing upon Marilyn and Larry as they give and receive these rings. Let them be ever conscious of your love and faithfulness as they are faithful to one another. Bless them by their love for one another and by your presence in their partnership. Amen. Larry, will you place Marilyn's ring on her left hand as a symbol of your covenant together? And Marilyn, will you place Larry's ring on his left hand, a symbol of your covenant together? Larry and Marilyn, may the love that you have found grow in meaning and strength until its beauty is shown in a common devotion to all that is compassionate and life-giving. May the glow of your love help to brighten the face of the earth. May peace dwell always in your house and in your hearts. May you have true friends ready to stand by you in both times of sorrow and in joy. And may you be ready to, with help and consolation for all those who come to you in need. May your cares never cause you undue stress, and may your heart's concern always be for compassion, for justice, for gentleness, and peace. May your lives be graced with goodness and courage. May the glory of love, God's love, touch and bless your families, your friends, and yourselves. Will you hold hands? <laughs> A marriage joins two people's love, patience, trust, and understanding are its foundation. You now enter into the days of your togetherness. May you always be each other's best friend. May you have many years together that are happy, healthy, and full of love. And now, inasmuch as you, Larry, and you, Marilyn, have consented together in this sacred covenant, and have declared the same before God and your family and friends, on behalf of Rabbi Mason and myself, I now pronounce you husband and wife. May the Lord God, who watches all over all, bless you and establish your home in peace and steadfast love. Amen.
the Jewish tradition, the breaking of the glass reminds us that even in times of great joy and happiness, we need to remember that elsewhere in the world, there's pain and suffering. At the wedding, the breaking of the glass also symbolizes the fact that marriage is irrevocable, just as this broken glass, or broken glasses, should I say, can never be mended. Its breaking is a transformation that leaves two individuals forever changed. Marilyn and Larry, each of you will break a glass, and as you do, let us be mindful of the symbolic breaking down of the many needless barriers that people erect between each other. May the Lord bless and keep you. May the Lord let his countenance shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May the Lord look upon you with kindness and give you peace. Good. Oh, <laughs> Can we kiss? Okay. Thank you. That was Thank you. Thank you, Sam. It was wonderful. Absolutely. Absolutely. Thank you. Thank you. Beautifully done. Thank you. Love you, baby. Me too. Absolutely. Can you use the room for a bit? Yeah. Okay. Honey, we didn't figure out the rain. I think we should walk over there and have the receiving line just come out here. Yeah. Okay? Okay. We're going to do the receiving line like right here and have that good. Okay. Congratulations. <laughs> Brother Laura. <laughs> Brother Nice kiss, you guys. Now I want you to look at me cheek to cheek, nice and close. And I'm going to fade on this.
Just thinking about New England weather, uh, <laughs> the only thing we were sure about is that it wouldn't snow, although it was a push. <laughs> but uh, God blessed us yesterday with a wonderful day, and uh, for those of you who travel far, welcome to Central Connecticut spring, what's left of it. So anyway, thanks again. I'm, with this kind of crowd, we had a wonderful time in the, in the Death Valley, and I really appreciate everybody coming here. <laughs> so with that, I'd like to turn it over to Marilyn. Thank you. <laughs> well. <laughs> Anyway, thank you again, and also anyone who can, they're welcome to come to the house afterwards. We should be breaking up here around 4.30. Bring food, of course. Bring food, yeah. We have some food in the house. So, but if you can come to the house, that would be wonderful. You can go back to your motel or home and change, if you'd like. No, you can't bring alcohol. No alcohol to the house. Sunday, you're right. Sunday, yeah, can't buy alcohol. And... I think that's about it for formal announcements. Right. But um, at your servers will be wonderful, and if you need anything, any beverage that they're not suggesting to you, feel free to ask them for it. The bar is open throughout. Yep. Feel free to get up at any time, or they can place your orders okay. with the waiters. And um, we're going to have a, a blessing, and then it'll be followed by some wine pouring, and then several toasts, after which later, after the videographer leaves, so he won't be on record. <laughs> We've reminded everyone that my minister is present. <laughs> uh, tone it down a little bit. So I think if we you could stand for a blessing by Reverend Koenig. And I'd like to thank Reverend Koenig and Rabbi Mason, who's not with us, for an excellent service. Yeah. It was just yeah. like... Let us be in prayer together. Loving and gracious God, we rejoice and give thanks for that which has brought Larry and Marilyn together in marriage. And we pray that you will continue to be with them in their life together as you are with us in this place. May the love that Marilyn and Larry show forth in their lives, show forth in the lives of all those who are gathered here today, be with us. Amen. Amen. Thank you. <laughs> you had a garlic bagel before. last <laughs> night. <laughs> Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Unusual for us being the fact that the father usu usually gives away the children. <laughs> it's it is really neat that we got to turn the tables and be here for our father's wedding. Um, I do want to keep this short, but I do want to say something really profound at the same time. <laughs> I read somewhere yesterday a really nice statement that. I'd just like to share. May every day be as special as your first day together. Well, I didn't read anything yesterday. <laughs> He's the English teacher, so that's okay. But yesterday, a lot of people came up to me and told me how nice it was that I looked happy for my dad. And, um, I guess it's easy to look happy when you are happy. Um, my dad and I, over the last few years, have developed a friendship and a relationship. And I've always been daddy's little girl. And now I'm daddy's little girl and friend. So it's very nice to be able to do that. And I know in the last couple of years that the reason that that has happened is because Marilyn has showed him um, the other side of many things and sensitivity and... Um, how to be emotional and yet be reserved and strong, thank you, at the same time. <laughs> He's not a wimp, he wants to Because I've developed a friendship with my dad, I've also developed a friendship with Marilyn. And one thing I wrote in my card is that I have a relationship with her, and now it's going to grow into a new relationship as a friend and also as another person. <laughs> so um, I just want to say congratulations and thank you for allowing us and having us here. And it's, it's very nice. Thank you. Thank you. No, I I'm pour me a small glass. Okay. Click. 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 click, 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 click. click, click. <laughs> <laughs> Meryl and Larry asked me to make a uh, toast, and I was going to start by telling you how Marilyn, I've known Marilyn since nursery school, yeah. many years ago at Plansville Congregation yeah. Church. And then I was going to tell you about how her mother, Lucille, made her go to a Catholic grammar school. <laughs> so that our paths didn't cross again until high school, when we met as uh, competitors, as finalists in the junior speech recital. <laughs> and Marilyn won. <laughs> and she has never let me forget that. <laughs> I forgot it. <laughs> then I was going to segue into post-college years when we bumped into each other at a Hartford restaurant as young, single, professional women. How much did you make? Third must 
Musketeer Regina that the three of us live the wild and wonderful single life. Uh, now, I was not going to go into detail about those days because we don't have the time and you don't want to know. Although many of the people in this room were part of that. I would just focus on one of the wonderful qualities that Marilyn will be bringing to this marriage. And that quality is enthusiasm. That is a quality that, um, leaving aside her obvious qualities of intelligence, wit, humor, compassion, and loyalty. Aww. Organization. And organization. <laughs> that is a quality that I have always cherished as a friend in Marilyn. And as I, I, I know this is not something new to everybody, but life with Marilyn is never dull. <laughs> and I think that is something that she will bring, that she has brought to our friendship. And as we all know, friendship is a very uh, important ingredient in a marriage, and she will bring that to their marriage. So with that, I would like to toast both Mar uh, Marilyn and Larry, <laughs> and wish you all our love and all of our best wishes. Thank you. <laughs> Ironically, my relationship with Larry goes back many years. Ironically, it goes back to a point at which I was looking for a job about 20 years ago. And um, in, in trying to find that job, I was uh, I hooked up with a uh, search guy. And he suggested that I go speak with this fellow, Larry Johnson, Manufacturers Handover Leasing Corporation. Um, I had spent a lot of time with this search guy and told him I definitely didn't want to work for a bank, among <laughs> other things. And he said, well, this is different. Um, first of all, they fire people. <laughs> and uh, secondly, you will really like Larry Johns. And that proved out to be a very prescient statement on his part. Um, over the years, ultimately I got the job. Over the years, Larry and I got to be uh, very friendly. And our lives took somewhat different paths. And Larry moved around the country, and I kind of stayed in New Jersey and New York. Uh, but we kept in touch, and whenever we talked on the telephone or got together, it was like, you know, things really never change. You know, you could always just pick up the phone and talk, and it's like life just goes on. Um, about four years ago, we got in touch, and Larry was in the reconstructive phase of his life. And uh, I'd like to say that during that period, Larry invited me to come here to Apricot, and I successfully introduced him to Marilyn. <laughs> There's a word for that, Andy, but we can't say it. <laughs> but during that course, um, you know, uh, Larry came down and visited with me uh, to talk about a couple of business items, and our friendship was revalidated uh, through a member of my family who has become very close to me, our family dog, Buddy, immediately fell in love with Larry and, and tried to lick him to death, almost causing him to drown. Uh, and soon thereafter, Larry fortunately met Marilyn, and um, Marilyn, um, in the battle of the thrift titans, brought <laughs> Larry a drink. <laughs> that was the best six bucks. <laughs> Yates and I have been delighted uh, to, to know Marilyn, and uh, the effect that she's had on Larry has been very obvious. And we're very happy about that, and we'd like to wish that both of you have the happiest of lives together, that you remain best friends forever. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Last official pose. <laughs> okay. Okay, we, we fade. We fade. We fade at this point. <laughs> Still calling your phone. Okay, now it's all unofficial. Thank you.